Installing a double-sided wall requires the use of two veneer units held together using a connector. Connectors are inserted into the mortises on the veneer units, thus connecting them two by two in order to create the double-sided tandem unit. The installation is finished by filling the void with 20 millimeters, or three quarters of an inch, clean stone after laying every other course, and then the capping unit is installed. To build the double-sided Lafitte tandem wall, begin by placing the starter unit directly on the granular base, perpendicular to the wall, and leveling it. When building a straight wall, veneer units of identical size must be assembled using the double-sided connector. Given that there are four different lengths of veneer units, A, B, C, D, each unit is assembled differently. To build a solid structure, the empty space inside every second row of the double-sided tandem unit must be filled with 20 millimeters, or three quarters of an inch, clean stone. Prior to installing the capping, we recommend that the wall be hammered lightly using a rubber mallet to help compact the stone in between the veneer units. Tandem double-sided units are installed on starter units randomly by using an equal number of all four sizes. To build a curved double-sided wall while maximizing results and minimizing sizes, only the following pairs of veneer units are recommended for use. AB and BC. Consequently, there will be more D veneer units for the remainder of the wall. Some units may have to be cut to fit perfectly into the selected curve. The end of the double-sided wall is completed using textured veneer unit A, which is installed at the end of the wall. To ensure solid corner assembly, two double-sided connectors are placed in a cross shape and inserted into the mortises on the veneer unit. The first connector connects the two double-sided wall veneer units, while the other connector, part of the cross, is used to hold the corner veneer with a textured side at the end of the wall in place. Make sure to glue every course that forms the end of the wall using PermaPro adhesive. If a wall ends with a pillar, several rows of the wall should be directly built into the pillar for maximum stability. Avoid aligning joints vertically from course to course. Building a 90 degree corner requires that a wall end be built first, as described above, and that a second wall be positioned perpendicularly. Once again, for a natural look, avoid aligning vertical joints from one row to the next on all visible surfaces. The double-sided tandem wall finish can be completed using one of the three following options. The Lafayette wall capping system, the Celtic capping system, or the three Hemingford beveled capping modules.